Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and in today's video I have some channel updates, some heads up, and I will be announcing the winner of a recent hidden giveaway. I hope you'll stick around and find out more. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. So it has been a while since I've done a face-to-face -face video or an on-camera video that wasn't a live like Craft Roulette or my new series Oh So Inspired Live, but since I've been away from my home, away from my studio for a few days, I thought I would just combine everything I need to do into one video and I just thought I would get on camera and chat with you a little bit. So if you do enjoy this video today, more of just like this kind of talking to each other, I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up. What we're going to do today, first of all, we are going to do a little oh so inspired recap from last episode and I will tell you about the new one. We have a challenge update if you haven't been paying attention. I'm doing a little challenge here in September on my channel and then finally when I did my not too shabby hop at the beginning of the month and I introduced the product that I had designed for the kit, there was a hidden giveaway if you watch the whole video where you could be entered to win one of my stencils. So I will be announcing that winner at the end of this video. And if you're a channel member, make sure to definitely stay tuned for a special announcement for you. Speaking of channel members, I do have a channel member shout out before we get started. I recently had another member upgrade to Paper Trimmer level member, so I wanted to say thank you for your continued support and welcome to Paper Trimmer level 2, Judy BS1. Thank you so much, Judy. I would also like to take this opportunity to just say a great big thank you to all of my channel members. The support that you're showing me month after month by continuing to renew and support what I'm doing here is so appreciated. You help keep sheet load free for everyone, so I know that all of my subscribers are thankful for you. Now, if you're ever interested in finding out more about channel membership, I do have a link in that description box below. It starts as low as $1.99 a month, and there's like behind the scenes pictures on my community tab. I usually do at least one or two extra free printables or cut files per month. And at the end of this video, I have a special surprise for all of my channel members that isn't an official perk, but hey, it's a little extra giveaway just for you. So again, you can check out that link in the description box below if you're interested in finding out more. Let's talk a little bit about Oh So Inspired Live. If you haven't joined us for one of those yet or watched a replay, what it is is every couple Saturdays, my sister Lisa and I, who is Crafty Days here on YouTube, get together for a fun little live crafting session. My channel members can submit inspiration pieces and then the night of the live we choose one to base a new project on. It could be we try to recreate the card, it could be we use the color palette, it could be we use the shape of the card. We just create anything from that to create something new. Now. There is a fun way that even non-channel members can play along, and that is if you join us for the live. Those who are there with us live will be able to submit a sabotage, which is just a fun little hiccup to throw into the evening just to make it a little bit more exciting. We have had this past time, Lisa and I could not use scissors while we created, and before that you had to use a charm or you had to use washi tape. They're just fun little things. So that is something that if you join us, we might choose yours and then you can see how we deal with it. Well, this Saturday night, my sister Lisa and I will be back again at 6.30 p.m. Central Time, and I hope that you'll join us. I will have the video linked in the description box below, so you can go ahead and go check it out and set yourself a reminder. 
something we started recently was asking you to join us and create something based upon the inspiration piece chosen for the night. So every time there is a form in the description box of the live video where you could submit your inspiration pieces and you have one week to do that. Now my sister and I, the first week we did it, I think we got three submissions and the next week we got four submissions. So this past week, I'm like, can we get five? Now Lisa, she wanted a little bit more. She was hoping for 10. Now we didn't quite make it there, but we did hit that five mark. So I want to show you now the inspiration piece, what Lisa and I created, and then what you subscribers sent in as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Up on screen now is a look at the inspiration piece for episode eight. It was submitted by channel member Rachel. And unfortunately the pin did not link to like a Instagram post or a blog post where I could find out who the creator was. But if you do recognize this card and know who originally created it, I would love for you to leave a link in that description box below. For now, I just have a link to that original Pinterest pin. Let's go ahead and see what everyone created. For my card, I went with a fall theme and I used some leaf dies for my cutouts. Behind the windows are a couple different pattern papers from the latest Not Too Shabby kit and I also used a wood grain embossing folder. Now one thing I did forget to mention in the little what is oh so inspired all about is that at the end of each live, Lisa and I give away our cards and a free little gift to two lucky viewers. So that's another reason why you might want to stop by and watch it. Lisa also went with the fall theme and some leaf die cuts, but for hers, she ink blended the background behind the die cuts, and I am just loving that leaf folder she used for her texture. And you can see that even though we both did fall and did leaf cutouts, our cards look completely different. Now let's see what the viewers created. First up is Rachel and she is the one who submitted tonight's inspiration piece and it looks like she decided to go with that embossing in the background toward the top and she has made a fun fall card and I am loving that intricate pumpkin die cut. Thank you so much Rachel for participating and for that great inspiration piece. Hilda LV decided to go with the die cut cutout with the pattern paper behind it. I'm not sure if these are leaves or feathers, but I am loving that striped paper and then the embossing on the white cardstock. Thanks, Hilda Nell. Don W decided to go with a fall or autumn theme too, and I just love the trio of little leaf die cuts and how she is ink blended on the ones on top of the card. Also, that shape at the bottom on the sentiment, I am in love with that. I need to know who makes it. Please let me know in that comment section below. Gladys P has made this gorgeous holiday card. I love the white and blue and how the cutouts or behind the cutout in the window is a sparkly paper that she also used for her word die. Thanks so much for playing along, Gladys. Alessa L created this beautiful card. She did use a feather die for her cutout and I love how she used that frame embossing folder and then inked that up to make it stand out a little bit more. Thanks Alessa. Anita A created a Christmas card for hers and I am loving how she kept the trees in her card and that little die cut scene on that. It is so neat. Thank you Anita. And last but not least is Mary G of Craft Roulette and she has created a Christmas card with some snowflake cutouts and if you look at the very center of those snowflakes she has some sparkly enamel dots. I just love those. Thanks for playing along Mary. Thank you so much to all of you who sent in those pieces. I hope that every time we have an Oh So Inspired, the number of those sent in just increases. I love to see how we are all inspired by the same thing and our final products look almost nothing alike. I hope to see lots of you there this Saturday night for the live. 
All right, next thing I want to talk about is my Shop Your Stash September Challenge series. Again, some of you might have already seen those, and some of you have even already played along and submitted your creations for the challenges. Well, I'm going to be honest, like in June, July, I went crazy buying whatever I wanted. And what happened was I then ate into my almost October fun money or the money that I get to spend each month just on crafting or other things that I want to do. Well, that was crazy because I started on October's money in August, almost the first week of August. So that is not good, especially since my sister and I are going to be going to Stamp Joy the second weekend in October, October 8th through 9th, I believe. And I need money for that. I know that I'm going to want to buy some Tailored Expressions goodies while we're there. So what I want to do, because I want to keep creating, but I need to stop spending because you can already kind of see it around me here. I have a whole room full of stuff that I can use and get crafty with, and I don't need to buy a single thing to do that. So what I'm doing this month is encouraging myself to not spend any money, but create with what I have. And I've been giving myself little challenges. So far, there have been two of them. The challenge playlist is linked below. And I create a new project on screen based upon that challenge. And then I tell you how you can play along, which is simply filling out a form and uploading a picture of your creation. Now, just a heads up, you do not have to create what I do for the challenge. You know, if I use a sheet load, you do not have to use a sheet load. You just have to follow the main challenge. Like on the first one, it was to use an unused kit. And I did happen to use a sheet load of cards layout, but you do not have to make six cards with your unused kit. And kit can even be a little bit flexible if you don't necessarily have a kit you bought, but maybe you bought lots of different things from the same paper collection, you could use that as well. One other thing is you don't have to necessarily stop spending to join me this month, but you just can't use anything new or you can't go out and buy something new to use it for your creation. Use stuff from your stash because you know what? That pattern paper, those dies, those stamps, even though they're old, they still work perfectly fine and let's use what we have. I'm hoping by doing this that when it comes to the weekend I go meet my sister that I can buy a few new stamping goodies at Stamp Joy. Now speaking of Stamp Joy, if you're going to be in Des Moines the weekend of October 8th and 9th for Stamp Joy, let me know in that comment section below and maybe we can say hey. These challenges will be running through the month of September. I hope to get at least 10 in. We'll see how it goes but I would love for you to join me and let's get creative. In October then, in the middle of October, I will be back with a recap video where I share a look at my things that I have made and also a look at everything all of my subscribers have submitted. I'm so excited to start seeing more of those roll in. And now let's talk about my stencil giveaway. You might have already seen earlier this month that I was lucky enough to design one of the products that come in the kit. I did use this for a card and I will link that video below, but there is lots more inspiration from the Not Too Shabby team using it as well. So I will put a hashtag up on screen now that if you search for that here on YouTube, you're going to see others create with a kit and some of those are also creating with my stencil. At the end of that video, I had a little hidden giveaway, which is something I like to do from time to time. So make sure that you're always watching all the way through and looking and listening for that. But one lucky subscriber is going to win my stencil. I did just look on the Not Too Shabby channel. Now, unfortunately, the kit is sold out and there are only two of my stencils left. I will have a link to it in the description box below. If you don't win today, you could go pick it up if you would like to. I would definitely love your support. We'll find out who that lucky winner is here in just a minute, but I do want to tell you that even if your name does not pop up today, don't lose hope. The winner is going to have one week to contact me before I will do a redraw. So there is always a chance that I'll be back to announce a new winner. So make sure to stay subscribed, keep watching for that.
Now, if you are the winner, you'll want to watch until the end of the video to find out how to claim it. Now, if you're a channel member, I gave you a heads up already that I was going to have a special giveaway for you. But later today, over on the community tab, I will be letting you know how you can enter to win a stencil for yourself. Let's go ahead and find out who won from that not too shabby hop. To be entered into the giveaway, subscribers had to leave a comment on this video telling me their favorite season, why, and making sure to include the hashtag, hashtag QOTV, so I know that they wanted to enter. What I'm going to do is paste the URL from that video into a comment picker website and I will make sure that only the comments that have hashtag QOTV will be in on this drawing. Now as long as the person has told me their favorite season and why, that is going to be the winner. There were 90 different commenters who wanted to be entered, so we'll just click start and find out who the lucky subscriber is. Congratulations to Sonia S, who has told me that spring is her favorite season, and she did let me know why as well. Now, I will let you know the first winner just put the hashtag in there and did not answer any questions. So make sure that when I do giveaways that you follow those. So if your name's drawn, you're going to be the one who wins. Congratulations, Sonia. I hope that you enjoy your stencil. Here is how you're going to contact me to claim your prize. My email address is all the way down at the bottom of the description box below, and it's up on the screen now. You'll send me an email letting me know that you won, and then what you're going to do is come back to this video, leave a comment below with the first three letters of your email address. Once you have done both of those things, and I can verify that you're the winner, I will contact you and get your mailing address. You will have one week from today, so up on the screen is your deadline because I don't know when I'm going to post this video yet, to claim that prize. If the prize isn't claimed within a week, I will do one redraw. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoy the video, as always, you know what I appreciate. Until my next one, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.